sandwiches. Food historians believe this portable meal was popularized in England in 1762 by John Montagu, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. Apparently, he ordered a cook to prepare an easy-to-eat meal so he could gamble freely. It's unlikely he or his cook were the first people to put food between bread. This concept existed way before that, and even today, variations can be seen across the globe. So let's take a look at some of the sandwiches you should try when traveling around the world. The Vietnamese banh mi is a French baguette filled with either roast chicken or pork infused with savory ingredients like slices of cucumber, chili pepper, cilantro, sour pickled daikon, and carrot, mayo, and maggi sauce. For many years, the banh mi has been a staple street food in Vietnam. French culture, including the French baguette, has heavily influenced Vietnamese culture because of the French occupation and colonization of Vietnam between the 17th and 20th centuries. The Vietnamese version of the French baguette is slightly fluffier. Similar to Vietnam's banh mi, this Laotian sandwich also uses the French baguette. Cao Ji can be found on almost every street corner in Laos. It's filled with pork belly, ham, tomato, lettuce, carrots, cheese, and chili sauce. The doner kebab is an essential sandwich in Turkey. Pieces of seasoned meat are skewered onto a rotating spit and grilled vertically. Traditionally, lamb is the meat of choice, but nowadays, other meats such as beef are used. The meat is shaved from the spit and placed between bread, topped with grilled vegetables, sauces, cheese, and a dash of lemon juice. You can find many variations of the doner kebab all throughout Europe, especially in Germany. Berlin is filled with food stalls that sell the Turkish sandwiches. In the 1960s, Turkish citizens migrated to Germany as laborers. Turkish immigrant Kadir Nurman has been credited with creating the sandwich during the 1970s in Berlin though it's likely that there was a similar concept that existed in Turkey as well. While its origins are a bit unclear, it's safe to say our love for the doner kebab is very clear, due to the fact that they're available worldwide. And since we're talking about love, this next sandwich is a personal favorite of mine, because I grew up eating it. If you enjoy roast pork, you have to try it in Cuban bread, which is like a crispy baguette. It's layered with ham, cheese, pickles, mustard, and a little bit of garlic if you're up for it. The Cuban sandwich, or cubano, is not actually even from Cuba. Yep, it was created in Tampa, Florida by Cuban immigrants. But the influence of Cuba's love for roast pork shines through in this creation. However, if you're looking for a sandwich that actually originated in Cuba, try a medianoche. It's almost identical to a cubano, except the bread is a sweet egg-based bread. Japan's popular katsu sando is a must-try. This sandwich is typically made with fried breaded pork cutlets, a few shreds of cabbage, and tonkatsu sauce tucked between two slices of Japanese milk bread. Nowadays, any type of protein can be used, such as wagyu beef, egg salad, or fish. Mr. Katsu in Southern California serves a 17-layer version of the pork katsu sando. This popular omelette sandwich has made its mark in Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. You can find roti john sold at street stalls throughout these three countries. A mixture of eggs, minced meat, onions, and cheese is spread onto a griddle. An open-faced baguette is placed on top and toasted over the omelette until the outside of the sandwich becomes crispy. Garnishes like sambal sauce, tomato sauce, and mayo can be added on top for extra flavor. 100 million sandwiches are eaten by Americans each day. And according to a YouGov survey, America's favorite sandwich, the grilled cheese. Now, I can honestly say I've traveled around the world in search of great cheese, so I can appreciate a solid grilled cheese sandwich. We're here at Murray's Cheese, which was voted the best place to get a grilled cheese sandwich in New York City by my friend and co-producer, Karen Rowe. Grilled cheese became an American classic after the 1920s. Pre-sliced white bread and processed cheese became available, and soon, American families were cooking it up in their homes. But this comfort food went beyond the household. 
It was found in government-issued cookbooks during World War II, and diners also began advertising it on menus. So Marie Cheese has basically perfected the grilled cheese sandwich by taking a special blend of cheese and butter and then sandwiching it between crispy bread. Oh my gosh. Calling all cheese lovers, this Brazilian sandwich is called Baru. Slices of roast beef and melted cheese are tucked between a French roll along with tomatoes and pickles. China's steamed guabao is a traditional favorite. It originated in Fuzhou and became popular in Taiwan when Fujianese immigrants brought it over. A flat steamed bao is folded over braised pork with sweet peanuts and coriander leaves. As you can see, this is much more than a sandwich. Portugal's francesinha is typically eaten with a knife and fork. In the late 1950s, a French resident in Portugal named Daniel Silva created the sandwich. Francesinha translates to little French lady. It's usually made with a sack of ham, steak, sausage, egg, and cheese, and topped with a tangy sauce. In Guyana, this sandwich is a party and road trip favorite. The quick recipe is ideal for any occasion, really. Cheese paste is more than just cheese between bread. Instead, sharp cheddar cheese is grated and mixed with butter, mayo, pepper, mustard, garlic, and pepper sauce. The creamy finish is spread between two slices of white bread. And since we're talking about spreads, India has a similar take. The chutney sandwich is a striking green or red spread laid between two slices of bread. For green chutney mix, use fresh cilantro and green chilies. Red chilies are used for the red spread. Uruguay is said to have some of the world's best beef. Chivito is a steak sandwich enjoyed all throughout the South American country. It's also Uruguay's national dish. According to legend, an Argentine tourist walked into a restaurant asking for a sandwich to be made with chivo, or baby goat. The chef didn't have any goat meat and instead grilled a thin piece of steak. Variations today include toppings like cheese, eggs, bacon, pepper, mayo, lettuce, and tomatoes. It's also popular in Argentina, where it's known as lomito. Uruguay enjoys steak sandwiches and so does Chile. This sandwich is called the chacarero. A roll holds thin churrasco steak with tomatoes, green beans, peppers, and mayo. Senegal's endambe is a spicy bean sandwich. Black-eyed peas, which are really beans, are seasoned along with beef and spread between a baguette. Lentils are sometimes used instead. This type of sandwich is typically eaten for breakfast and is sold by street vendors all throughout Senegal. Sabich from Israel is a pita bread stuffed with fried eggplant, boiled eggs, salad, amba, and many other sauces. The sabich is actually an Iraqi-Israeli hybrid. When Iraqi Jewish refugees settled in Israel in the 1940s and 50s, they brought traditions like eating hard-boiled eggs, potatoes, and eggplant on Sabbath. Today, the sabich is a popular street food sold by vendors in Israel and is still eaten on the Sabbath. So the UK is known for their love of chips, so why not make it a sandwich? A chip buddy is simply thick-cut, deep-fried chips sandwiched between two buttered slices of white bread. Sauces like mayo and ketchup are added for flavor. You can find the chip buddy in English fish and chip shops. South Africans enjoy hot chips stuffed in footlongs, but this footlong is for sharing. The Gatsby sandwich is typically sliced into four portions and served as a long loaf stuffed with slap chips, poloni, and achar. Today, many variations of the Gatsby sandwich are available throughout Cape Town. This finished sandwich is called Pori Linen. A thick slice of pork sausage is placed between two slices of white bread. The hamburger-like sandwich includes onions, pickles, garlic, and your choice of condiment. Eaten in both Venezuela and Colombia, the arepa is a cornmeal pocket that is grilled, 
fried or baked, and filled with endless ingredients. Traditionally, arepas are cooked on flat griddles. They can be served with shredded meat like chicken or beef, or with soft white cheese. It's a popular street food in both countries and can be eaten during any time of day. This Danish sandwich comes in many, many combinations. Smørbrød is basically an open-faced sandwich. Its main ingredients include spreads like butter, cold meats, seafood, and scallions. It's typically garnished with lemon and herbs. It can probably get messy, so feel free to eat it with a knife and fork. Trinidad and Tobago's bacon shark is pretty iconic to the sister islands. Bake, or fried flatbread, is filled with a fusion of fried shark, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, and coleslaw. Sauces like garlic sauce, mustard, pepper sauce, and mango chutney add flavor. This spicy snack is sold at stalls in Pakistan, night and day. The bun kebab resembles a burger with the patty typically being chicken, beef, or egg omelets. The patty is fried and served with onions and chutney. Okay, those were a lot of sandwiches, but that just goes to show how important this portable meal is to so many cultures around the world. So which one was your favorite and which other global foods would you like to see? Let us know in the comments below.